Alright. Mm. You fucking saying what to me? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Sure thing, whatever. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Oh, sure. sure. Less sure. than a minute, I promise. Go. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Sure thing. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged. Oh my god, I can loot the box. The founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. I'm not gonna loot the box because I want good, good karma. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Alright, um, hello everybody. My name is Mr. Superkins, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see, I have shaved Arthur. I've also given him a haircut, and I bought some new threads. I don't know how they look. They might look like puke, but, you know, I needed something new. I didn't like what I was wearing before. Plus, he needed the haircut. Got a nice, uh, slicked back, and, uh,. Short haircut. So, where are we going next? So, there's the saloon. Saloon. We'll go here. Now it is night time, which isn't too bad. But hell yeah, bro. Homes for the blind. Right, let's hitch our freaking horse. This guy is full of shit, so I'm not going to talk to him. Can you spare some money for Where are we going? Maybe the saloon? Are, you mad? are they even open? Stick oh. up, cowboy. That's just Dutch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So... Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all look the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. No. Bonjour. Everyone just chill, right? Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the Excuse speed me. of the morning for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's over here. why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help you? You fucking like excuse me? Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. For my rude behavior. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. All right. Bronte. Hmm. Angelo Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. 
I really don't like this hat. This hat looks stupid. So, in the alleyway. Down this way. Come on now, this talking doesn't become you. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Mate, you're supposed yeah, to be sat I on a I chair. You in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. You both are. <gasps> what? So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Here we go. It's a good hey. thing my stamina's good. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italy. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Robber me blind. Come on, then. You I wonder what happens if you don't have stuff? any money. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? No. Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <gasps> little pair of shits. Get going. They're coming after us. Get I'm not sure if I was supposed to shoot or not. Look at this little shit. Bye, mister. <laughs> I'm literally right there. Oh, this is not fun. This isn't is helping my stamina. I'm supposed to have my horse. You better stop right now. My goodness. The bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn, free trash. You after that kid? That other shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Bruh. Didn't break oh, a sweat. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot. That's enough. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Come on. Can you imagine if you just didn't have the stamina for this? Was this Nathan Drake? Oh no, my stamina's really taking a hit now. And I can't eat anything either. Oh, what the hell's up with his face? I'm telling you, a cucumber's definitely a fruit. Since when? Since forever. I read in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. So they tell you your dog's a cat now. What? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I like you. I'm back here. Hmm. What's the problem, Fred? 
Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Off, just walk off. Bad ass, bruh. Oh yeah, all my money. <laughs> Could have taken everything. Please, you, yes, please, coin, please. Sure thing. Get yourself something to eat. A coin. Sir, I want you to have this. Nice, How did they just give me special snake oil? It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Oh, okay. Steal money. <laughs> I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Right? We should probably eat something actually. What's that? Salted beef. Oh, that's not going to do much. Uh, we'll just eat one of these freaking things that we got. Damn, we Gucci. See what Arthur Morgan looks like overweight. It's not Gucci. It's not Gucci, son. I wish I could run there. We're just gonna run there. Give ourselves up. And say hey ho. Hey ho. Millwall. God damn you. you fucking what? You bitch. I will fuck you up. Pulling a gun out on me just for running in front of you. It's disrespectful. You're just chilling on a bench. Getting robbed. Who by? Bunch of children. I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Uh, buenos dias. Uh, buenos dias, muchachas. Quas, uh, quasan. Arthur, that's really not nice. What's this? There's a question mark over here. Is this who I think it is? <gasps> Go in and say, hey, I don't... Wait, just this one. There's lots of question marks here. There's lots. So... Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh, this got his beard back Thank already. You. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's 
quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too! <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass! I thought we had covered this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris, no. <gasps> according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Well, all right then. All right, we're gonna take our horse. I really don't like this hat. I wonder if I can actually take it off. I'm not sure. Oh, look, there's another question mark. But hold on. Oh, you can change hat. Oh, I quite like his hat. Yeah, I don't mind his hat, but let's rock it without the hat for once. Uh, LB, left bumper. Ha! There we go. I should have put some hair, pomade, pomade hair stuff in. Alright, let's check this out. I want to cover all of these as much as I can. Kind, sir. Will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. <gasps> Help the poor. Let's go check this out then, shall we? Okay, bye oh. now. Hey, A fresh trim for the boys. But the beard is just grown back. Oh my god, Arthur. No time for parkour. 
We ain't about that life just yet. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Mm. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. I think he leaves. Oh, hello? Shh, gadgete, gadgete. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Return to the monk. Return to monk. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Monk here. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. How do I get out of here? Bonjour. No, Arthur. Oh, fuck it. Parkour! <laughs> Arthur's been playing Hello, Assassin's sir. Creed. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. I don't need the payment. Sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. <gasps> They've disappeared. No. Damn it. Right. Let's go see. Who do we want to go see next? We want to go see another stranger. I guess this is the stranger mission. Uh, the Stranger episode. <laughs> Jesus! You thought right, bitch. Are you crazy? Slow down. I think I know what mission this is. Uh, excuse me, bud. My goodness. What? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Mm. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. 
I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. For a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Oh, mate, can I even go to Rhodes? That's quite far away. Leopold Strauss, he wants more. Oh, uh, do I wanna... Do I have to go there now? It's a really long way. Nah, fuck it. I'll, I'll start in next, next mission. I don't need to go there right now, I don't think. And if I do, well, then I'm fucked. You guys are here for missions on PC, not bloody... Bloody... You know what I mean. Nothing to say, bro. Look, that woman wasn't even scared. Why are you scared, bro? Yeah, I, um... Yeah, I want to do missions. I don't want to like, piss around having to travel really far. Go see Dirt Van der Lane. There he is. And next mission we'll start with the other one. See what these two boys have to say. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. No. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Do we? <laughs> come on, Arthur. Go a bit quicker. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers 
It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Mr. Vandalin. Bruh. Is this my horse? Yeah. Hey, oh boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us oh, for dark. a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. Yeah. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. There's a pretty spooky fact here. When we go into this graveyard, you'll notice there's a what? Where am I going? Oh fucking hell. Come on. We're not riding in there. Would you piss off? Bruh. <laughs> Cow. Yeah, there's a woman in here. You'll see her as we come in. Apparently she's a ghost, but they don't acknowledge that. I saw her on a video, you can shoot her and she's completely unfazed. So she's definitely a ghost. It's a reference to this a way. movie, and I can't remember what movie it was. All right, let's see what's going on in here. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we get Jack back. Oh, Stay quiet. That's weird. I don't see her. We don't want to spook him. Should be able to see her again. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like a damn fool. What was that? Oh, 
There's a dog. What was that? Oh, it's John. Hey there, boy. <gasps> Good boy. Right. Gotta keep looking. I'll try this way. Okay, you try that way, John. I'm gonna go this way. What's going on over here? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. Okay. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. Please leave. You should get yourself home. Hang on. There might be something. Where are we going, Marston? Why is it not giving me my shouty? Whatever, brah. Find my own way. Aha. Uh -huh. Get in cover. I hear something in there. <gasps> what could it be? You boys find my puppies watching. Oh shit. Sake. What? Ah. No doubt. You think you can rob us? What the fuck, man? Shooting you point blank, bro. I have the decency to die. Whoa, he had 20 bucks. Hold on, I'm gonna go back for the other right. first. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll Give need this. to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Robin grave robbers, we've hit the big time. Oh. Come on. Let's quickly mm. check that spot where it all kicked off. Okay. Oh, there is a dead I can see a dead body. Oh, that's that guy I shot before. There like is. I said. Let's look around where they jumped us. I've not seen the woman, so... She's definitely here. She says she shows up sometimes. I think there might be something in here. What's that? Got it. Good. <gasps> now let's get out of here. Some V-Bucks. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's like Halloween. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Oh no. Come on. We best stick to the side. I can't see shit. Come on. There's 
Someone coming. Hide. I found a body. How do they not see us? Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. What are we doing, Marston? Stay together. Oh, gimme. Holy shit, no. Jack the Ripper. Let's go. Gucci. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. That's right. Let's see if you can keep up, Marston. I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Well, why's my horse all the way over here? Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? Spaghetti. It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? A slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, at 
this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. <laughs> Luxurious life. Actually, I don't think I've given Arthur a bath. I don't think so. Javier Square. Son, everything. We got him, Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> it's <Italian. laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur. Hell is he wearing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got my son back. Jack. Didn't Jack. even thank Jack. him. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. What kind of cigarette was that? Wow. While they're enjoying their feast, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and would you keep it down? Bro. <laughs> Stop saying that. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in the very next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.